Hello, my name is Max Joseph. I'm owner of Direct Action Group. I have over 30 years of involvement in the special operations training community, and I've traveled to well over 20 different countries. So what I'm gonna to talk to you today is about the three-tier survival kit system. This is based on how we ran it when I was in the Marine Corps, uh, the first recon battalion, and, but it still applies today without a doubt. So this is your first line of survival, this is your second line of survival, and this is your third. And proportionally, they, can, they each last for longer durations. For my tier one, this is the Maxpedition Mini Pocket Organizer. Your tier one kit actually goes on your body, right? And I'm talking in my cargo pocket. For me, it goes in my right side cargo pocket. That has all my main essentials, where if I was unable to access my other tiers of equipment, I, I should be good to go for a short term. So for my tier two equipment here, I've got the Maxpedition Proteus VersaPack. It's gonna go on my hip just like that, cinched down and all my loose straps secured. And then for my tier three, I've got my Maxpedition Falcon 2 pack. And the concept is as follows. In a survival situation or, or a hostile situation, if we were needed to escape and evade, and I needed to run a long distance, I probably ain't gonna, that ain't gonna happen with this full ruck on. So if I needed to dump my ruck, I've still got my tier two on my body, which would be able to stay me for a few days. If for whatever extreme situation, maybe I was in the water and I'm, I'm getting in trouble drowning and this is snagged on something, if I had to jettison this, at least I still have my tier one in my pocket, which has my immediate life-saving essentials. So the whole concept here is don't put all your eggs in one basket. Don't put all your gear in your backpack because if something happens to that or you get separated from it or a bear demolishes it, you're gonna be in a bad situation. So these are just like different safety levels. Everything that we're gonna be going over here is, is the basics. What you're gonna have in here is gonna be totally mission dependent and how long you'll be out in the field. On the outside of this thing, I've got my poncho. On my first external pouch, I've got my water purification gear, I've got my bug juice, and I've got my foot powder and I've got several pairs of spare socks on the inside of here. My upper pouch right here, be a secondary pair of binos, dummy corded in. Inside my main pouch, or my secondary pouch now, I've got spare water bottles. I've got MREs, they're broken down. Inside my main compartment now is how I sustain myself or how I sleep at night. I've got my poncho liner. I discussed the poncho earlier. One of my best friends told me that the two best things that come out of the Vietnam War was a P-38 can opener and a poncho liner. And he, he definitely was not wrong. So this goes with the poncho uh, for your sleeping gear. Also in the main compartment, I've got my rain jacket. I've got small toiletry items and also I've got more MREs in here. So this is just the basics of what you would want in your tier three equipment for a short term mission. Everything is gonna be mission based on the duration and the environment that you're working in. He's gonna tell us about the Rush 100. So this is our new Rush 100 pack for SHOT Show. Um, it's basically going to be a pickup of where the Rush 72 leaves off. So it is in the same 100 hour increment because this is a pack that you're gonna be living out of in the back country. So this simple back panel um, allows you to vertically adjust two sets of load lifters for different size individuals. You've got a removable waist belt here Basically, once this removes through, you have continuous molly all the way around the back. So you can sort of build that out with the pouches that you've taken along with you and make more of a scout waist pack for the day. So side pouches can be removed for more streamlined, smaller uh, capacity. So you can flex from basically 50 to 60 liters if you take these off. Top compartment, quick access, there's an admin um, pocket in the front face of the pack. You have three, three mag pockets that are sized out up front, zippered, uh, concealable pocket and then a bottom stow down there. The bottom uh, compression panel is basically for your soft goods. Your compressibles, sleeping bag, sleeping pad, pillow, maybe insulated jacket. But what this pocket does know is this flexes. So basically it can either be this bottom section here or it can the, the divider will push down to the bottom and you can fill out the entire 60 liter volume. Quick, quick sleeping pad, bed stows, bed roll. These also separate and then they can string through the side pouches to become basically a side bag. So one thing that's really cool about this pack, Noah, is that because it's part of the Rush family and the Rush line, this is a corresponding system with the other Rush and Moab bags that we call the Rush tier system. It basically allows you to attach fast tech buckles so that you can tack on 
any of the, the Rush or Moab packs to the outside of the pack. Nice. I think I'm going to put it on. That's good. This is the Mystery Ranch two-day assault. It's a 27-liter pack loaded with features for travel or everyday carry. External features on this pack include dual water bottle pockets on both sides, dual front compression straps, molly webbing on both sides, fully adjustable Futura harness, and a removable waist belt. The lid also has two separate compartments secured with weatherproof urethane zippers, as well as loop Velcro for morale patches. Access into the main compartment of the bag is through our signature three zip, which allows the user to simply rip open the top or use the center zip to gain access to the main bag. Internal organization includes two zipper detail pockets on each side, as well as two long vertical pockets for additional hydration reservoirs should you need them. There's a padded laptop sleeve on the body panel, as well as a separate divider for a tablet on the front. The laptop sleeves also comes with a tab to hang in a hydration reservoir on the body panel. Laptop or tablet can either be accessed from inside the bag or through the long urethane coated zipper along the body panel. The two day assault comes in two sized yokes, either a small medium or a large extra large and is available in four colors, coyote brown, forest green, foliage and black. And to scale, I'm five foot 11. Tactics backpack. Brand new innovation for the industry. Laser cut platform, 20% stronger and 20% lighter. All the compression straps are removable, replaceable, repositionable. On the front of the backpack, two L-shaped pockets. One, two, three pockets. Six pockets on the front of the pack before you even get to the organizer. The organizer panel, full featured. Zipper pocket, open pockets, small and large, carries all of your EDC needs. Two key fobs. One stationary, one removable. Behind the organizer, a simple flat pocket with Velcro on the back wall. Allows for a simple holster or any quick accessible items that you need. In the back compartment, you have two easy stash pockets. So if you do use this as a computer section, these are two nice pockets for cords. At the very bottom of the bag, a zipper. With a pocket, double layer means extra protection for your gear, but you can line that with foam for heavy needs, or there's a loop in the back for your favorite rain fly. Number 10 zippers open all the way to 190 degrees, allowing for full access. On the front flap, two Velcro pouches. Load them up with any of your first aid needs. Toss them to your guy that goes down across the alleyway, or if you don't like those there, you wanna reposition other web platform pouches, no big deal, take these, reposition them to the back of the bag. Vertical zippers on these long pockets allows you to access this gear with your pack fully zipped. You just undo the side zipper and you can reach in and access those pockets. That hook and hang compartment has two hooks. We have specialized gear that hooks into them. You undo the top, you undo the bottom, allows you to go all the way through and put our rifle sleeve into the bag. Top handle, piping constructed into the handle for distribution of weight, makes it easier carrying a heavy load. That same handle duplicated along the back of the shoulder straps. It's a yoke style handle strap. So it sits between the shoulder straps, it's repositionable to pull those shoulder straps in tighter to alleviate those hot spots or allow a little bit farther depending on your neck size. Down low, a little bit of Elastic, exposes the buckle, keeps that buckle close, but just like the compression straps that are removable, this buckle fails on any other backpack, it's done. This backpack, as long as that top loop is in place, take this buckle, replace it here, all of our hardware is interchangeable. At the very front, outdoor style compression straps, so easy to adjust, but when you need to, if you don't like those, you take them all the way off on any other backpack, these are a pain to put back on. Easy, re-thread, slip them back on. When you're moving to the back of the bag, a little bit of Velcro here, six inches for a name tape. Open it up, and in the back, you have a backboard. This backboard, great for avalanche shovels, 
for paddling in case you're caught up a creek, be able to use it on your leg or any limb in case of injury, and in case of serious injury, top of the neck. If you enjoyed our video, don't forget to hit the like button below. And if you want to see similar videos in the future, smash that subscribe button and make sure to turn the notification bell on. For now, that's all I've got. And in all that you do, we want to help you beat yesterday.